Here's a 52 inch Hunter Summer Breeze ceiling fan in the all white finish. This is in the now family room, used to be garage, of the Shore House. And if you notice, there is dual install potential here. So I don't want to reveal what I'd want to put there just in case I find two of the same fan and I can actually pull it off. But yeah, we'll just leave that a secret for now. So this fan came from Cole Semenko, also known as Vintage Fans and more on YouTube, many, many years ago. Uh, it was part of one of like those fire sales where it's like I just people just need to get rid of a bunch of fans so they're super cheap. So I got this one and the New Tone New Breeze, which you might have seen because I have a couple of videos of it on my channel that I installed on my grandma's house. The nice Hunter switch cap. Uh, it's flush mounted in here, but it is the space is long enough to have a down rod, just not a down rod plus a hanging light kit. Then it would be too low. Yeah, let's start up on low. And yeah, now that's quiet here, you can really hear, Ooh, Hunter, the quiet fan. It fucking hums. <laughs> that changer clip still gets me to this day. It's so funny. If you haven't seen it, just look up Hunter Osprey, ceiling fan on YouTube. But yeah, this is like generally a pretty basic fan. Like I've probably said in other videos, I'm not going to be putting up like gems in this house because, um... It's possibly like going to be rented in the future by other people, so who knows what they'll do to fans. But yeah, in the future I think it would be nice to have like a cool dual install in here and then probably put this one in like one of the bedrooms. Because in the bedrooms you don't need a crazy amount of airflow just because the rooms themselves are smaller. But this is a pretty large and open space, so having at least like a really big sized spinner motor fan or even like K55 tier would be better. Everyone always complains about how hot they are down here. It's like we have air conditioning too, so I guess it's better for me that they even want fans at all, so I'll stop complaining. Everyone's like, we're fat, we're hot. <laughs> Their words, not mine. Decent low speed though. Let's go to medium. It's not that loud though. Like yes it does hum, but it's very negligible. Especially in like a fan room where hopefully there's some sort of noise going on. And by medium speed the wind noise kind of overpowers any hum, so. Yeah, this is around the same spot where that Hampton Bay slash SMC DC-42 hung. I wasn't able to save that fan though, that was lost in the flood, it just got like water damaged. But, I mean, no big loss. Not exactly something too special. There's the attic over there which I would have to crawl up into if I wanted to make a dual install, but we'll cross that bridge when I get to it, I suppose. But yeah, I think I got both these fans, both this fan and the new tone New Breeze for 40 bucks total plus shipping, which isn't bad. That's like habitat prices, excluding shipping, so that's still a good deal in my opinion. Go to high. See, I'm not sure what pitch these nine, like you know, the average hun 90s hunter fans have. It might be like it's 13 degrees at the highest, probably 12. But yeah, it's 
at least getting a good RPM, and the airflow is good, you know. Nothing crazy, but it's good. Does the job. You can see it's moving that little wooden pull chain fob in circles. The hum also could be just be, get like worse because it's flush mounted and it's like going through the ceiling beams and all that stuff. Let's turn it off. has bleached oak blades on the top because I forgot to mention that. But yeah, kind of a basic fan. That's all I really have to say about it, so thanks for watching.